Depression, things to know and simple solutions to prevent. Depression is a major problem in modern society and threatens the health of people around the globe. Depression causes serious human losses as well as the loss of billions of dollars to the world economy. Hazards of depression has become the theme of World Health Day this year and the slogan of the campaign is Let's Talk, roughly translated, Talk Go. There are now around 350 million people of all ages, from all walks of life, suffering from depression. It causes emotional pain and affects the ability to function, even everyday tasks simple, the consequences of depression also affect relationships as family, friends and possibilities their survival. More dangerously, depression can sometimes lead to suicide, which is the second leading cause of death in people aged 15-29 years. For those reasons, depression affects people of all ages and lives in all countries. The World Health Organization, WHO, pays special attention to three groups of adolescents and young adults, women of childbearing age, especially after childbirth, and the elderly, older than 60 years. 1. Things to know to prevent depression. Introverts are more likely to get depressed. Some studies have shown that people who are introverted have a higher risk of depression and disease symptoms than others. Other introverted features such as fear or mood swings can lead to depression if negative emotions persist. Loneliness and Facebook addiction can also be symptoms of depression. Brain size can predict the risk of depression. People with depression or anxiety disorders are less likely to have gray matter in their brains, especially in areas responsible for many functions such as blood pressure, heart rate, cognitive function, decision making, and perception. This leads to emotion-related disorders and hence the symptoms of depression. Interested in sleep. The fact is that sleep and mental health are closely related. Many studies show that if you do not get enough sleep, you will be at higher risk of depression. In addition, people with severe depression disorders are at risk of having nighttime sleep problems and this aggravates the symptoms. 2. Simple solutions to prevent depression. Instead of taking medicine, go traveling. According to some scientists, depression is a phenomenon corresponding to human hibernation, a mammalian response. It is therefore not surprising that depressed patients become slow and upset. So, no need to wait until your body shows signs of depression, you should spend some time in the year to organize a long-term resting program. Exercise regularly. Low motility causes the brain to become stiff and get fewer stimulants, so stress and anxiety build up and turn into depression. American amateurs almost no one in depression have demonstrated that muscle work has any advantage. This small community of Pennsylvania does not accept modern life, they maintain their life as grandparents, ancestors, mainly rely on backward agricultural practices and only produce the tools needed. Set for demand. Cold temperatures improve health. Taking advantage of low temperatures to cure diseases is not a new invention. But recently this method has been widely applied to help patients regain a happy mood. The patient enters the room with extremely low temperatures, from minus 110 degrees Celsius to minus 160 degrees Celsius, for 2-3 minutes. After the treatment, they often feel relaxed, relaxed and spiritual. Americans and Japanese have used low temperatures to treat depression on a large scale. However, Low temperature therapy cannot be the main remedy for this disorder. In the family environment, showering with a shower can be considered as a viable alternative. Walking outdoors. Often we often want to go to bed more often in the fall and winter, sometimes having poor appetite or eating more. The culprit of the abnormal condition is a lack of sunlight. As recommended by the UK Department of Health. Just short walks of the outdoors every day promote the emotional state. Physical training. Exercise regularly stimulates the body to produce endorphins, hormones that cause a sense of well-being. However, if many days of fatigue, sadness, depression are to be considered and understood, advise them to participate in these stimulating activities. Exercise should not be a compulsory and mental burden. But it cannot be denied that creating a routine of daily exercise often promotes effective help. 
depression can be prevented and treated. Understanding and preventing depression will help reduce stigma associated with this condition and provide opportunities for many ill persons to seek help.